building your business pyramid on today's episode. Today's episode is brought to you by SEM Rush, started in 2008 with one mission, to make online competition fair and transparent with equal opportunities for all. To find out how SEM Rush can help you compete with the big boys, go to servenomaster.com backslash SEM Rush today. Are you tired of dealing with your boss? Do you feel underpaid and underappreciated? If you want to make it online, fire your boss and start living your retirement dreams now. Then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Serve No Master Podcast, where you'll learn how to open new revenue streams and make money while you sleep. Presented live from a tropical island in the South Pacific by best-selling author, Jonathan Green. Now, here's your host. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit froggy today. The kids have been sick, so obviously, sometimes it makes its way into daddy's throat as well. It's another perfect morning in paradise. The tide is high, so I'm sitting way back from the dock. I couldn't even get out to the dock. It's so buried underwater. It will be up, the water be above my knees to get out there, and I'm wearing pants today, which I almost never do, but it's a pants day. And today, today we're gonna talk about the structure of your new business. Whichever format business you choose to make online, the proper structure is everything. Organizing your product services funnels in the correct way will maximize your profit and the speed at which your business grows. When we start a new business, we oftentimes sell a great deal of consulting or coaching as a way to make quick cash. This can show up in many formats, but it's very common for people who have just left a big job. They were a marketing director at a company and suddenly they're a marketing consultant. It's a way to get a big paycheck. The reason we quickly sell coaching or consulting is because it pays a lot. It's a great way to start replacing your income. The problem is that when you have this format, you're still trading time for money at the one to one ratio. One time for one money. Whatever your fee is, your time is still controlling how much money you can make. Your business is not scalable yet. It's very common to start a business this way and it's very powerful. With the pyramid business model, I want you to think of it as how many people can afford each layer. The very bottom of your pyramid, that's the level everyone can afford. That's where you give away free stuff. And the very top of your pyramid is your consulting, your coaching, your most expensive services. When starting Serve No Master, I started at the top. I started by selling my most expensive product, which was a combination of coaching and training, teaching people how to become bestsellers, helping people launch that first bestseller. Very time intensive. With a lot of digital marketing businesses, when people decide they're going to set up a website and start an online business, they start at the bottom. They say, I want to start with my blog, I'm going to set up my website, then I'm going to create my free gift. Once the free gift is created, I'm going to start creating emails. So everything they create initially is the free content. I created the high-end content first and started building the pyramid down. The reason we do that is to generate quick funding. I wanted this project to fund itself from profits very quickly. Finding your balance and finding the right way to start is the key and part of it comes down to what's your traffic source if you have no source of traffic if you're just gonna put ads on facebook tell your friends start a blog and get seo style traffic just people finding your website then you want to start your pyramid at the bottom however if you have access to a client book if you have access to joint venture partners or affiliates who can send you customers then you want to start at the top which is what i did i only sell my coaching via webinar so you have to be a follower of one of my friends or partners, end up on one of my coaching webinars where I teach some really cool book techniques. And at the end of it, I open up a few spots for coaching students. That's the high end part of my business model. So the structure of the pyramid, at the bottom we have the most people, the free gifts. This can start off with podcast episodes like this. This can be free blog posts that people can just read anytime they want. And it can also be your mailing list. This is where you give people something for taking an action. So it's one little step up the pyramid. We're still at the very bottom, but now it's people who gave you their email address in exchange for a PDF, a video, an additional training that's one step beyond what you give away for free. 
We're not charging for anything yet, but now we're in a barter phase. I'll give you a little bit better, something a little better than the podcast episode content if you just give me your email address. That's our first step of the pyramid. Then we go up to our low ticket offers. And there's a couple of different names for it. One term that floats around we hear a lot right now is tripwire. A tripwire offer is something physical where you give them the physical thing and they only pay for shipping. You can send a printed version of a PDF. You can send a DVD. You can send a CD. If you're in a prepper type niche, right now what's very popular is a credit card shaped thing that turns into a folding knife. There are actually a couple of different types of credit card knives on the market right now. And they're very popular. Get one for free, just $4.95 shipping. So they send an actual free tool in that space. The other way of doing a low ticket offer is simply having really good information and a low flat fee. Something in the $7 to $17 range is usually where we price our low ticket offers. Another way to generate that low ticket offer is the dollar trial. My product is normally $17. We can get it for a dollar and pay the other 16 in a month. This will maximize the number of people who make a purchase. The purpose of the bottom of your pyramid is to show people what they get when they actually spend money with you. They get to see the products you make are even better than what you give away on your blog. I give away really, really good content on my website and these podcasts. Most of the content I generate is podcast episodes. Every morning I get up and come out here around 6 a.m. to record because that's the one time when it's the quietest. And as you can hear, there's still a lot of ocean sounds. This is the quietest location I can find. Each step up the pyramid, the product is better, the product is more expensive, and therefore the number of people who will buy it goes down, it decreases. Perhaps you have a thousand people who take your free offer and 100 of them, 10%, go up to the next level. And at each level, it's 10%. So then you can only get one person out of 100 to go to level three. When you have your pyramid built, you can start tracking numbers at each level and you know how many people you need to get your highest level. If you have a high-end coaching, like I sell in dating a $25,000 coaching package, I know we need approximately 10,000 people to come in through paid traffic, through Google advertising for every one of those we sell. And if that number was higher, if it was one out of a thousand, I would raise the price until it dropped again because I hate doing it. I like the coaching part, but it's an in-person coaching program where I have to fly and meet someone in person. So I have to leave my island, fly around the world, and then coach the person. That's why we raise the price to cover the cost of all that travel and the massive inconvenience. So we value our time based on what the time is worth and based on our inconvenience costs. Starting at the bottom, we keep adding layers as we build our business. So you have your first product, you create your free PDF, your free gift, you give away to people that join your mailing list, then you create your seven to $17 product, in my case, and you'll see this very soon, I have a product called Product Launch Blueprints. What I've put together are five different blueprints for how to launch a business. I have one on launching a blog, one on launching a book on Kindle, one on launching a podcast, one for becoming an affiliate marketer, and one for launching a local consulting SEO type business. Each of these takes me a very long time to make. As strange as it is to say, my low ticket product takes me almost as much time as my high ticket products because the design and the organization is very important to me. So each of those blueprints will take you several hours to go through. To go through all the blueprints will take you one or two weeks. And I sell five blueprints for $17. And you'll see that offer starting to appear more and more now if you want to get into a business. It's enough to launch and sell your first book and make a profit. It's enough to launch a podcast and find your audience. It's enough to launch a blog and get the first thousand people to join your mailing list. And it's enough to understand how affiliate marketing works to find the right offers to make so you can be profitable with any of the other blueprints. So that's my exact low ticket offer. I designed something that would appeal to anyone who reads one of my books, listens to this podcast, or visits my blog. It's a wide, wide approach so that the maximum number of people have interest. So when you're designing your lower offers, you want to appeal to as many people as possible. As you work your way up the pyramid, you get into the 27, 37, up to $77 kind of range. And in that range, I have a product in development for Kindle that I'm launching on a different platform that will be called Kindle Sniper. This will be on its own website, kindlesniper.com, which I'm working on. 
it will be a product we launch on the ClickBank affiliate platform. It's a product specifically designed to appeal to a very specific list of affiliates who will drive traffic to products on ClickBank. So it's a specific product for a specific space and it's separate from the rest of all my funnels. The rest of my products to sell directly from servetomaster.com, but this is something that's a little isolated. It will be my first low ticket offer because it's at that lower price point. Above that, the next level of product is the $97 product. And you can also have up to $297 in that range. Sometimes you'll see a product for $97. Sometimes you'll see a bundle of three to five products for $297. Or sometimes you'll just see a massive product that's $297 in that area. Oftentimes, a customer won't even be aware of the $297 product until they've purchased something lesser. I recently bought something that's $38.50 a month. I was following their funnel. The first initial purchase was $7. They talked me into the $38.50 a month. And when I purchased that, they showed me a $297 offer, which was very, very well designed and very tempting if I didn't already have it. These designs are created in a way that maximizes the value to your customers, maximizes the profit you make as a business owner, and helps you control how your business is working. Above 297, it's where we get into the 497, the 997 type products, and some products go all the way up to $5,000 in this range. Now, as you get above 297, you start to add in coaching elements that are more valuable. Lower ticket products often include a Facebook group or a private forum or private members area. As you move above that, you'll start to notice they include group coaching calls. For a 297 product, you might get one group coaching call a month. I bought a product for $150 recently, and it comes with sporadic group coaching calls. I bought it three months ago. So far, there's been one group coaching call. He sends out an email when there's going to be one. We all hop on it, but they're kind of infrequent. At a higher price point, you start to expect regularity. At the 497 price point and up, people oftentimes expect perhaps once a month a coaching call. And again, you're only selling one hour of your time a month. You can have up to 1,000 people on a coaching call. And now there's new technology that's pushing that number up to two to 3,000 with some new advances in the way the internet technologies and the infrastructure strength. So you can have 2,000 people that each paid you $500 and you give an hour a month. That's not that bad. As you're moving up, the format of your material also change. At your lower ticket offers, it's pure text or PDFs. And as it moves up, you move into audio files and videos. Videos have more perceived value than the written word. When you're at 997 and up, now you're talking about a group coaching call once a week. People expect to be able to reach you when they're spending that kind of money. And when we move above that price point, we move into a full coaching program. When we have one-on-one -on -one coaching elements, we set up a structure where people get a phone call once a week, a phone call once a month. There's a mixture of group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching. And as we go even higher into the mastermind level, which is five to $25,000, this is where people expect to see you in person two or three times a year. High level masterminds, you pay a lot of money. Everyone in the mastermind flies and meets in person for two or three days at a nice high end hotel. That's the highest level. And again, at the top level, some people structure it that way. And then they have one on one coaching where they can just spend one day with you for a certain amount. At the very highest level, you can structure different types of time, depending on what you want to give up and depending upon your level of popularity. If you can get away with selling group coaching for $25,000 a person, which some people do, I know people that have $25,000 a year and you get to see them twice a year in person. And everyone in the group thinks it's worth it because you're surrounded by people in similar industries making big money as well that will partner with you on projects. So you make back the total cost of your investment at the very first meeting. But you don't want to join something like that until you're making enough money to support it. But this is the structure you can build. Depending upon your traffic sources, the way you build your pyramid will be different. I have access starting this business out to high-end affiliate traffic so I can afford to start with high-end offers. Now I'm building in the lower offers because I'm getting a lot more traffic from people who don't know me. So I'm building the pyramid from the top down. I started off with my most expensive products and worked my way down and only now am I building my less expensive products for people that have never met me before, didn't meet me through an affiliate, didn't meet me through someone who already knew me. Depending upon the warmth of the introduction, you can build your pyramid in different ways. As you're building your business, you also want to think about how you're going to pay affiliates. Are you going to bring affiliates in? Are you going to let people send you customers and get a commission? And how are you going to process money? Designing your platform early is very important. 
as I've mentioned before, I'm going through a very large structural change with my business. I've changed my hosting company, I've changed my shopping cart, I've changed my site design, and I've changed my membership integration software. All of the technology behind my business is changing. And in fact, last night, after two days of soul searching, several phone calls, and a lot of research, I'm also about to change my mailing list provider, the company that handles my emails. Because of the way this particular business is structured, because of the way Servant Master works, the following I have, the people like you who see different offers or buy different products or go through different coaching or are just coming through a contest, all of these different things, my previous mailing list provider can't handle that. It creates a lot of technological problems. So I'm now looking at a massive infrastructure change. It's daunting to have to keep changing every different part of your business, but it's necessary to future proof. This is why from the beginning, I tell you the exact pieces of technology that I use. And I can tell you right now, I'm switching to ConvertKit. That's the new platform I'm switching to. I've been looking at them for three months. I've thought about it for at least three months. And I finally last night realized that I just have to do it because I'm releasing so many different Amazon books that all give away different gifts, that all have different types of training that come with them. I need a platform that allows advanced tagging. With my previous platforms, if you're on Aweber and GetResponse, if someone joins different lists, if someone reads different books, I end up paying for them multiple times. You pay your mailing list company based on how many email addresses you have. So one person, you might end up paying for 10 times. It ends up really messing with your accounting and you can accidentally send people the same email over and over again because of the way they're structured. So I'm switching to give a better customer experience to lower my long-term costs so that I don't pay for it additional email addresses when it's the same person over and over again and to allow me to give better content quicker and in a more organized way that's why i'm switching to a company that's newer that's designed in a way that really works for me and i'm excited about it but it's also a big infrastructure change making the decision of how you're going to structure your business at the beginning will allow you to do things the right way for example if you want to have a lot of high ticket offers you want to sell a lot of coaching you want to sell a lot of things on webinars you want to sell the really expensive stuff, you can't use ClickBank as your platform. Anything above $150, you have to get their approval for. You also can't sell anything where people pay once a year. You can't sell a yearly recurring service or product. The advantage of that platform is they control the money. If someone recommends one of your products, ClickBank pays each of you. Other platforms require a higher level of trust. I use a platform called Pay Kickstart. If you send me through an affiliate link, a customer through Pay Kickstart, depending on how the customer pays. If they pay through PayPal, you get paid instantly. But if they pay with a credit card, then you have to wait 30 days to get paid until after the credit card thing cycles. And they send me a message, I click a button and it auto pays you. But there's an element of trust there because I have to click that button to pay you. That platform, however, allows me to charge whatever I want. And the reason I'm using Pay Kickstart now, I used to use Zach, so the reason I'm with Pay Kickstart is very simple. My friend owns the company. Every time I have a complaint, I can message him on Skype and I always get a response within 24 hours. And if I message in the private users group for this platform, I get a response much quicker from one of the other developers. There's three or four guys behind the company and I can reach them and I know them. I like to work with people that I know and trust. The same reason that I'm switching to ConvertKit. I know people who know the guy that owns that company. I'm one degree of separation from him, so I have to go through a friend. Maybe that's two degrees of separation. Knowing how you're going to process money is very important. One of the great places to start out, if you're kind of in between, you wanna charge higher prices, but you don't want to pay a monthly fee. You don't wanna get stuck with a shopping cart that's out of your price range. There's a product called JVZoo, which I have used for five or six years. I know the guy who owns that company as well. I've been through many technical glitches with them because I started with them right when they were beginning and every time I had a problem, they fixed it. Now the platform is rock solid and it can do really amazing things. To use that platform, you just pay a small percentage of each sale and that's great if you have a really low price offer like $7. It's great if you're not running a large volume and they also will instantly split payments if people pay through PayPal. So it has a lot of advantages and there are a lot of great things about it. Only when you're moving enough volume that your fees to JVZoo become greater than a monthly fee for another shopping cart should you consider changing. So it's a great place to start. It's a great place to find affiliates. It's a really good platform for launches. You can do a lot of great things there. But these thoughts about how you're going to take money are what you want to set up early on. There's nothing worse than having someone wanting to pay you and being unable to accept their money. 
As you're building your pyramid, the infrastructure is important. Deciding how much your time you're willing to sell, what your time is worth is very important. And you also want to have a flow that makes sense. You want your products to make sense with each other. It's very easy to make a funnel that is illogical. I could start off, you buy my book, Breaking Orbit, which is about how to launch a book on Amazon. If I then sent you a $7, $27 offer, or $17, something in that range, a product, and I said, hey, here's my new product about Facebook ads, you wouldn't be interested because it wouldn't make sense. But if I said, here's my new system for running Facebook ads to books, suddenly it makes sense. If I make it specific, you want to design free gifts that fit your message, that appeal to your audience, and that will lead into your more expensive. So it has to fit the message in your podcast or in your blog posts. It has to connect with the more expensive things you want to sell. You don't just want to give away a free gift you think that most people will accept. It's not any good to get a bunch of people that take your free gift and have no interest in your products or what else you're doing. If I gave away an iPod for every email submit, guess what? Everyone will give me their email address, but it wouldn't be worth anything because I don't make a higher end iPod that I can later on sell. Think about the way you're going to structure your business. Draw that pyramid. I right now have drawing in my pyramid for about 70 more products I want to develop. If you buy my blueprints, you get the five, the first five. I've already mapped out more than 50 other blueprints I'm going to develop in the next year that I'll continue to release to people that are members of the blueprint platform. All of those are designed, so that structure is in place. I've also already outlined my 12 higher ticket offers that are in the $97 to $97 range. I already have them mapped out. I figured out what I wanted to teach people right when I started building Servo Master. Having those in place, I can then send out an email and ask people, which of these products are you most interested in? They tell me number seven is most popular, so then I make number seven next. I don't have to guess what I should make. Once you have a little bit of an audience, you can just ask them what they want. This entire business, the entire business of Servo Master is built around a pyramid. And this is how every single large content marketing business is structured. If you follow this business model, you will build a very successful online business. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Serve No Master. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more tips and tactics on how to escape that rat race. Head over to servenomaster.com forward slash podcasts now for your chance to win a free copy of Jonathan's bestseller, Serve No Master. All you have to do is leave a five-star review of this podcast. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Serve No Master podcast. Head over to servenomaster.com backslash podcasts right now to find out how you can win a free copy of my brand new book.